Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jonathan and to my returning subscribers, welcome back my friends, welcome back. In today's video, I wanna talk about the spiritual significance of spring cleaning. And I'm not just talking about cleaning out your home. I'm talking about setting the stage for the remainder of the year to help you thrive in each and every single area of your life which your heart so desires. Let's get started. This spiritual journey that we're on is a journey of cycles. And right now it's winter. Right now you're most likely going through a lot of emotional highs and lows. A lot of things are coming up. You're discovering yourself at a much deeper level. You're beginning to let go of what no longer serves you. You're peeling back the layers as far as who you're not and you're truly discovering who you are. But now, we're gonna be stepping into spring. Springtime is an incredible time of the year because springtime sets the tone for the rest of the year. The actions that you're gonna be taking in the springtime is going to be setting the tone for the remainder of the year. It's a time to plant seeds. It's a time to start to take action. And then you're gonna notice throughout the summertime, you're gonna be living a more fulfilled life. You're gonna be seeing that your life is gonna be filled with much more joy because of the seeds that you've planted and you're continuing to work on during the summertime. But then fall comes, harvest time. It's gonna be time to collect on those. It's gonna be time to collect on those manifestations, those affirmations, those visions that you've had in the springtime. And, but it's going to be with the actions that you've taken that's going to bring this forth. And in wintertime, the cycle starts all over again. But this springtime is different than any other because we've just had the great conjunction. And now it's really going to set the tone as far as the actions that you take this spring moving forward. And when I'm talking about spring cleaning, I'm not just talking about cleaning out your home. That is a very important stage because... As far as example, when I was going through my purging stage, cleaning was not top priority on my list as far as my home. I truly didn't care how messy it looked because I was going through, it was going through all these different emotional pains. They were all being released and how I felt was a reflection of how my apartment looked at the time. But then all of a sudden springtime came. It's once you start to do that spring cleaning, you start to get rid of what no longer serves you. Look at in your home, as far as things that you haven't used in months and months, let's say it's been six months a year where something has just been sitting and has not been, it's not been used. Give that away, give that away and you're gonna see something else is gonna come that's gonna be even better, that's gonna replace this. And as far as cleaning, it all goes with how you feel inside. You're gonna see if you're be feeling, being drawn to start to clean clean your home, to start to take better care of yourself. That's a major sign that you have now created more and more self-love, more and more self-worth. You're starting to gain that confidence needed to move forward. And as far as spring cleaning, you have to look at what type of energies are currently in your home right now. Did you have a lot of purging sessions or arguments or gone through certain painful experiences in your home? If you have, there is definitely negative stagnant energy there. And what I want you to do is go buy yourself a bag of lemons. As silly as it sounds, bag of lemons. Place a lemon in each and every single room of your home within 24 to 48 hours. That lemon is going to become moldy if there is some negative stagnant energy. And once you discover which room has the negative stagnant energy, you're going to be now clearing that negative energy. And there's two ways of doing a, going about this. You can use sage. You can burn some sage, covering the whole room, top to bottom, completely covering your room, each and every single room in your home that has this negative energy. Or else, because I have animals, therefore I can't really use sage. I can't smoke out my home with sage with my animals that I have. Therefore, I use water and sea salt. This is extremely easy. In a tea kettle, boil some water, pour that in a big bowl, one cup of sea salt, mix that around, stir it around till the sea salt completely melts. Leave it in a room for two to three hours and then it's automatically gonna remove that stagnant negative energy. Make sure to wash and rinse that bowl prior to doing each and every single room. And then if you really wanna see if all the energies is clear, is place another lemon again and you're gonna see this time that lemon is never going to 
become moldy. It's never going to rot until the next time there's actually an argument. Next time that you're feeling those low vibrations, until then, that lemon is going to stay yellow as can be. This is also a great time to reinvent yourself. Look at all the inner work you've done throughout this past winter. So you might right now, there might be something that you want to change about yourself, about your looks. You might want to change your hairstyle. You might want to completely change your wardrobe. Like during my, during my awakening, during the dark days, I was always wearing dark colors. Then all of a sudden, started to feel better about myself and I started to wear more lively colors. I started to wear more colors that fit with nature. And it's the same thing as far as your home. You might want to repaint certain rooms in your home. You might want to redecorate your home. And this is completely natural it's because you've literally gone through the purging stage. Therefore, it was death of self. And now it's a rebirth. But this time, it's the most authentic version of yourself that is moving forward. You're expressing yourself at every single level moving forward. Also begin to think about what you've been able to release during this past winter as far as self-limited beliefs. Look at the newfound beliefs that you have now created through better understanding of past painful situations as an example. And really start to focus. What is it that you want to have come forth over the next year? Which direction are you feeling pulled towards? And it can be a perfect time to start to amp up your spiritual practices as far as what you love to do. If anything during your spiritual journey begins to feel like a chore, it's time to take a step back or else find an alternative for a short period of time. But really start to look at which way has manifesting worked best for you and really start to put more and more focus on this. It could be beginning. As far as making, creating yourself a list of five affirmations that you're going to constantly be repeating to yourself because this is going to affect your reality. You might not be aware of this, but once you're able to get those imprinted in your subconscious, it's just a matter of time before they come forth in your reality. And some of you might enjoy to meditate and to envision. It might be during a guided meditation. You're envisioning what it is that you want to have come forth. And one sign that's very important as far as understanding when this manifestation is going to come forth, what you're going to notice is, let's say if you're trying to manifest a home, you want to manifest a home. At first, you're just going to be seeing a little bit of the outside. But what you're going to notice as you continue to do these guided meditations, as an example, you, you're going to start to see more and more details as far as your home. You're going to start to see what it looks like inside. You're going to start to see what type of floors you have, what type of colors you have on the walls, what the countertops, the cabinets look like, what furniture is in it. And this is a one major sign that you should be following the signs and synchronicities because they're going to lead you to your manifestation. But really start to work on that. Make sure to set some time and it's all about investing in yourself moving forward. And you're also going to notice that your vibrations are going to be raising like they've never done before as far as what, when you're envisioning something. And it's that emotion that I want you to follow. That's one major sign also that your manifestation is good is you're being able, you're able to now match the vibrational frequency of already having this. And most likely you're going to notice this when you're seeing signs and synchronicities. That's the emotion that's going to come up that's telling you, listen, follow, follow that sign, follow that synchronicity. You're heading down the right path. Because as far as 2021, it's out with the old and it's in with the new. Meaning, as far as the career you have right now, as far as, it doesn't even matter if it's a career, it's a business. It might not be where you want to be. But in 2021, start to spend some time and invest in yourself, even if it's just a few hours here and there. But what I recommend you do is to become more and more consistent, as in if you're still, if you're going to set yourself a schedule as far as here's the time I'm available to work on things that I'm passionate about, but sticking to that schedule because it's that repetition. It's being able to get into those high vibes while you're doing what it is that you're passionate about repetitively. That's what's going to help to bring forth this manifestation even quicker. That's what's going to open up the doors.
that's going to allow you to move forward and to align you more and more on the right path. And also with spring cleaning, I want you to really look within as far as how you react to individuals, as far as do you still judge individuals. When you see someone acting in a certain way, reacting or saying a certain thing, are you quick to judge? If you are, try becoming more of an observer as far as not looking at the surface as far as what they're saying, how they're acting, how they're reacting, but beginning to question as far as why are they acting this way? Why do they have example this certain set limitably? Really starting to look at it at a deep level. Because once you're able to start to become more of an observer, you're going to notice that you're going to start to understand things at a much deeper level. And once you do, you're going to see as far as your spiritual journey, you're going to be able to start to flow like water more and more. You're going to be able to start to let go of any resistance because you're going to be coming aware more and more. This is happening for me. Even though it might seem on the surface, I'm not heading down the right path. You can feel it within yourself within your heart you can feel that this is the exact direction that you should be heading down because as far as the spiritual journey it's not nothing we can see it's nothing we can touch it's nothing we can hear it's something that we can feel it's moving forward beginning to feel our way forward instead of instead of relying on what we can see we rely on what is it that we can feel well, that's going to do it for the video if you guys are able to this is a beautiful time of the year it's like four degrees out here right now Get yourself out in nature. Get yourself grounded. Clear that mind. Clear that mind of all those worries of everyday life. And begin to ask yourself, where do I see myself within six months from now? Where do I see myself within one year from now? And you're going to have, you're going to have a clear picture. You're going to know exactly which way you should head. And start taking action. Every day, begin to expand that comfort zone more and more because Every time you continue to do the exact same thing, you're going to get the exact same results. But the moment you start stepping out of your comfort zone, the moment you start stepping into certain areas that might bring up a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of uh, feeling a little bit uncomfortable, that's when the magic is going to begin to happen. You have to start doing things differently than you did in the past. And that all begins with raising up your vibrations and trusting your intuition above all and if you need to open up open up to your angels your guys open up to god open up to whichever spiritual source you believe in about what's blocking you about how you want to move forward where is it you see yourself in the future and be open to receiving that guidance you're already receiving that guidance it's just it's coming it's coming forth in such a subtle way it's just all of a sudden this thought comes forth all of a sudden, you see something on TV, you hear something on, on a, let's say, in, in a song, the answers are going to begin to come forth. And you're going to see, you're going to help take part in this massive shift, this massive change that we're creating here in order to bring forth, to create this new earth. Well, I love you guys. You guys have an awesome day. Namaste.